Welcome to ADFA, the first six weeks. Over the following 20 podcasts, we'll follow a group of midshipmen and officer cadets at the Australian Defence Force Academy in Canberra as they undertake their initial military training. We'll hear from a number of the cadets as they give their impressions of life at ADFA and what they hope to achieve in a career in the Navy, Army or Air Force. This is episode one, Arrival. In this episode, we'll introduce our midshipmen and officer cadets and see what it's like when they first arrive at ADFA. It started off really early, of course. Busy day. <laughs> a little bit overwhelming, a little bit, I suppose. Got the bus this morning, did the long drive from Sydney to Canberra. Was a little bit freaked out because we saw all these troops marching past. Photos taken for IDs. In uniform and without uniform. It's pretty chaotic. It's pretty chaotic. It's very full on. They, they get you straight into it. I've seen so many new faces. Met a few guys which I've met before. It's not as hectic as I thought it was be, and the people are a lot nicer than I thought. Because you always get the idea that when you go into the army, you're going to have people screaming at you as soon as you get off the plane. I've heard hurry up and wait a lot. Completed all the paperwork, got my name in the system. There's been something going on all the time. Obviously there's a lot of new things people have to overcome. We had our induction ceremony with the oaths and swearing in, getting the certificate. Mum and Dad and everyone rocked up. The ceremony was good. Mum and Dad were sad to see me go. Well, it wasn't too emotional. I think, you know, my parents were, you know, sad to see me go, but, you know, they were happy that I was coming here to study, to work and to live. But this, this is completely different, living away from home. Got to look after myself completely, which could be a good thing. <laughs> a few emotional goodbyes. Me and my mum, my stepdad and my boyfriend. She was, you know, very proud of where I'm going, what I'm going to do, the life which I'm going to lead. So we moved over to the cadets' mess. There's the first meal at the mess. Get the rest of the division. Yes, stood in lines a lot today. Waited three hours for the haircut. Oh, there's the uh, there's the number two haircuts that all males have to get. The haircuts were a bit of a surprise. I mean, I knew it was coming, but it, I didn't think it would be this short. I thought my hair was short enough, but it obviously wasn't. Went and signed up for the Defence Credit Union. Talking to the banks, if you want a bank account. Been to the shop, bought an ironing board. It's a compulsory thing here. There's coming up and seeing your rooms for the first time, seeing what you've got, seeing what you can play with. And now I'm trying to find my room again. A home. The rooms are impressive. They're better than I expected. First impression, uh, quite small. Quite a bit smaller than my room at home. Pretty nice. It's bigger than I remembered it being. I expected much smaller. Two desk, bed, wardrobe. Free stationery and stuff. It's good. We got a safe, we got a style lock, which is cool. There's a lot of very good experiences just on the first day. But everyone's actually been really nice. But it's gone into very long. Other than that, it's just been waiting for everybody to get uh, get through the line. It's been really straightforward and simple. Um, they've explained what I need to do and told me where I need to go, so there's been no problems like that. Absolutely have to be meeting people. That's what I found really exciting, just going, I'm going to spend the next three years with these people I want to see, like people who I actually like to hang out with. They get you everything you need and they do it quickly and it's been very positive. In the next podcast, Reveille, we'll see the midshipmen and officer cadets getting kitted out with their gear and their first reactions to life in the military.